Welcome to the 74 Weld YouTube channel. My name's Quinn. My goal here on all these videos is very simple. It's to answer the question of why. And in answering that question, we will inherently provide you with education, detailed insight into why we do what we do, and put this stuff into context that you care about for your own application in off-road. All right, so today I wanna to talk a little bit more in depth about our double shear setup um, how it came to be and why you should care about it. Uh, last summer, so late summer 2023, we were in the testing phase of this product. This is our Bronco portal. Um, it pertains to Tacoma as well. And I spent uh, four days on the Rubicon with a bunch of the Fox racers and Vaughn Gittin Jr. was in a Bronco that was running some of our prototype portals. And during that trip, he broke his steering not once, but twice. And the way he had it set up, he had, I think it was a 10 millimeter, it might've been a 3 8 but essentially he had a tapered misalignment that indexed into the taper that matched the stock ball joint or tie rod end, sorry, taper on the factory steering. And so that tie rod, which was an aluminum tie rod hooked up to our billet rack, was in single shear. And the first time he broke it, Lauren and I were sitting there and Lauren goes, can we put the thing in double shear? And I looked at it and I'm like, well, We'll talk when we get through Rubicon Springs, but it was kind of clear to me, like we had to do something different. And what most guys do is they'll drill out their factory upright and they'll run a 5 8 bolt. The reason I don't like that is because now you're putting that same 5 8 bolt into single shear. Is it better than running a tapered misalignment? You could make cases for both, but the proper way to do it is to add true double shear. And what double shear is, is you have a shear point down here, you have a shear point up top, and you have a bolt that goes through. And the way we handle shear load on this double shear is super critical and worth talking about. So we have, you'll see it from the side, these keys machined in. So this slides into the upright and it keys in place. And then we just have four quarter 20 bolts attached to this. Now, these bolts hold the, the load or hold the double shear bracket into the upright. These bolts don't see load. Load is carried by keys, not the bolts. So this is our double shear setup. If you're ordering this and you know you're gonna run a Heim steering, you wanna order double shear. You'll, you'll be able to drill the lower out to a 5 8 These are 17.4 heat treated misalignments. The only reason we're running 17.4 here and not down here is this is the same misalignment or it's the same insert washer. It's not a misalignment. Um, this is the same insert washer that we run on all of our race stuff. And so we make a, a bunch of these and we just have them laying around and we moved it straight to this application. So now your bolt is captured top and bottom and it makes for a much stronger steering setup um, this is kind of something that's born out of necessity. And this is why when we develop stuff, I develop either in-house or with guys I have long-standing relationships with. We don't use customer vehicles for testing because I like to still maintain, I want to keep all prototypes within arm's reach because Inherently, a prototype is just that, it's a prototype. So we go out to Rubicon, we break it, and we go, okay, how do we improve? Here's the solution we come up with, and we test that, and we go, okay, it's not failing. And then we roll it out to you guys. So it's a multi-step process. This is our double shear. If you're gonna run a Heim steering, we offer this on both the Tacoma and the Bronco. We don't offer it on Jeep because there's so many steering options out there and it's very rare, I think, nowadays for Jeep guys to run Heim steering. You have companies like SteerSmart. I mean, there's, 
There's a half dozen options out there for super beefy tie rod ends for a Jeep. I'm a fan of tie rod ends because they last longer. Himes are stronger. You pick which one's right for you and just kind of go from there. Appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day. Watch our video. We're just trying to keep you guys informed and I guess let you know how we develop stuff and what our solutions are. Thanks for watching.